What's up everybody, it's your favorite upscale, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at Make Toys Cupola, which is their homage to Headmaster Chrome Dome. And he comes with two accessories, we'll talk about that first, and that's these two guns, one for each of you. And these tab in for the for the uh, vehicle, and then uh, this flips down for, for the bot to hold it. Single cast minus the hinge piece here, and then one lick of paint, and it's right there on the scope, which to me seems like a very bizarre choice. Like, I don't understand, that's a complaint of mine with this. Like, I like the Fans Project one. I don't understand um, why the Fans Project one has more paint on it than, than these. These are just... It's almost like they put that on the top bit just, just to say there's some paint on there. Very bizarre. They look nice. They're a nice, you know, sculpt. Just bizarre choice. And then there's this guy. And, of course, the head is an accessory, and we'll talk about that. But let's talk about the figure. So the head is very, is very much similar to the Fans Project one. Swivels here, and then that piece hinges up there so you can look down. You can put it in and put it backwards so that he can look up. But for me, um, robots being able to look down is much more important than looking up because they're always looking down at the humans, and that's how you kind of always see them. So I think that that's more important. So that's how I'll be keeping mine. Uh, the eyes are well painted, as is the faceplate. And it's a decent sculpt, but not a whole ton of, you know, like it seems like they could have done some stuff up in the ears, but, you know, I'm not sure if that's cartoon accuracy. I have to re re remind myself, but, um, you know, I'm, that's one of those things when I talk about, like, uh, you know, being G1 updated, that they could have thrown some extra love into that, but whatevs. A lot of people would get upset if they did, I guess, so there's that. Um, this piece here folds down so that you can reveal the tech specs. They don't like flip or anything, but they're there if you're into that sort of a thing, which I am not. Red plastic here, brown plastic here, white and red paint on the brown plastic there, which is extremely sharp and clean, I must say. Uh, moving down, we got a waist swivel. No problems there. You only get to there, but that's kind of anatomically correct anyway, so I'm good with that. And not like a paint down in there. Uh, odd, like I, we'll see this later, I think, but odd blue paint up in there, which is okay. The back is extremely clean. Extremely clean. Only part where it gets a little ha Hasbro hollowy is up in this foot, um, but definitely not hateful. Um, let's see. Shoulders are on a ball joint, which is crazy. Um, for, to me anyway, and then this comes up here to a hinge that gets you f pretty much a full range of motion, so that's nice. Um, the ball joint is actually on a hinge, so you even get the slightest bit of a butterfly joint, which I'm okay with as well. Little gray paint in there, again, small but extremely clean. And bicep swivel, a good feeling joint. Elbow, single hinge, getting you 90 degrees. Wrist uh, swivel, and then fingers... Uh, these fingers are all on one single pin, which I am a-okay with. Um, I don't, you know, how I feel about single finger articulation. Same on the other side. Not a lick of paint on the forearms. Um, this ball joint, I do, I do worry about it. And my hinge here is just the slightest. It's not loose. You know, it's not like it's going to, uh, it'll flop around a little bit. It's going to flop around a little bit. They both do a little bit. It's more the weight pulling against the hinge. It's not really floppy. It's not really loose. It's just not as stiff as I would have maybe liked it. Hard to describe. Definitely not an error, just not to my personal taste. Does that make sense? Uh, rubber tires, which is really nice with the gold chrome on the rims. I'm digging that. Red plastic here with the uh, gray paint in the line work, which I'm A-OK -okay with. Um, not a lick of paint there. Not a lick of paint in the thighs. Uh, the thighs are on univer ratcheted universals. The clicks are okay. Um, sometimes it feels... Uh, actually, they're pretty good. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give that a pass. They're pretty good. They're much better than I initially thought, um, in my mind's eye anyway. And then the outward joint, though, you pretty much are limited to one click because of these wheels. So you can go two, I guess. All right, so you can go 
one foot you can get all the way in. Now you can't get that one all the way over there because there's no room down here at the bottom. So one click you can get all the way in, and then one, which is like his normal stance, two, which is his wider stance. So not ideal. Forward, not a problem in the slightest. And, you know, that's, that's pretty good. Um, backward, same way, but when are you going to use that, really? Thigh, swivel, and it's on a tight ratchet, and it has this little gappy gap in there. Now, it's not hateful. You're not gonna, it's not gonna kill you when it's posed on your shelf and it's ready to go for your display. You know what I mean? You're, you're not gonna really zero in on that. But having it in hand and manipulating it, that does seem a little like an oversight. Uh, knees, looks like die cast in there, and that looks really nice. Um, and then they're on a ratchet, getting you 90 degrees, no problems there. We got some licks of paint down in here, which is nice. Um, very clean, but limited. And then the feet, not a lick of paint. And, you know, I, I, maybe they're trying to go for cartoon accuracy. I don't know. And there is a fine line, you know. There is going too far with the paint, but just some little details. I guess they're counting on the oh, uh, repro labels. Um, but you get an ankle tilt and uh, the slightest rocker it's not the best rocker because um, it's on a ball joint here and then it, it hinges there so you you mean your normal stances and you can't go out to the side very far anyway so it'll probably be okay he'll be fine but it's just um, it's just a limited range of motion and um, let's see if he can hold his weapons open up his hand uh, oh okay all right so that's an interesting design. It slides down in that little groove there. That's actually that's actually maybe the best I've ever seen, to be honest with you. Like that ain't going anywhere. I am loving that. Let's do the other one just to make sure that that sculpt is good. Beautiful. I love that. That's something that Make Toys has done that everybody should follow suit. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. There is something I have to mention while I have you guys here. About the feet that I forgot to mention. Uh, because of the ball joint down in there, um, where all that weight is you know, coming down here, coming into these joints, and it, it links to a ball joint. All the weight of this guy, including the die cast and just the general size, this has come out, but that's that's not because it's not well designed. It's just because I've been manipulating them. Um, is coming down and it's sitting on a ball joint, so he has a tendency. Oh, he's doing all right there, but um, he has a tendency. Just when I've been messing with him. Um, oh, and look, that came out too. I'll, I'll, I'll fix that. But he has a tendency to lean forward to a fault. Now you get in there, you get him secure, it'll be fine, but you start messing with him too much and it, once he hits that, that, that point on the fulcrum, um, that, that ball joint is going to fail you. So just keep that in mind. Let's get him transformed. Head off. Maneuver these bottom flaps here. Out. And then this piece. Up. Fold the foot down. We'll come back. Same on the other side out, up, and then you got to work on the foot. I work these feet so that this tab here goes into there. And it it's, can be a little challenging to see, but once you get it, it's good to go. Same on the other side. Peg in. What you got to do is line up this and this to that and that. And then that holds together fairly well. Rotate the tires down on the front side. Same on the other side. Pull the shoulders up and out. Same on the other side. Rotate the flaps that were pegged into the shoulders down on both sides. Pull the chest down. Window here up. Bring these down. Mine's a little, a little tight here. A 
it untabs there. That was my problem. The next step you need to do is see those holes. You need to bring those pieces out. So put your thumbs in there on this side, wedge them out, and then bring them down. Bring this whole assembly here up. Rotate it 180 degrees while keeping track of these pieces here. And then, like this. Now, from the underside, you got to bring this out on the double hinge, but keep this up, which is challenging. So. Luckily, there's a little give there in, in the pliability of the plastic. And then tab these into here. Tab that in. Prep the arms by collapsing them and then spinning them so that the hand is facing palm up with the grates. Fold the hand up, fold the shoulder down. Same on the other side. Collapse, palm up, hand up, shoulder up. Then fold both the arms into the back of the vehicle. And they should sit nicely if you have them right, just right like that. From the underside of everything, right where this gray piece is, is where it all hinges back. Bring these up. This can be fairly challenging, so it's just a matter of making sure that everything is lined up. And then it all tucks in down into there. Make sure you open up this. That will help. They just slide out on those screws right there. And then it's a matter of playing the, the lineup game. So. Put it down. And it's going to take you a minute to get everything lined up because it's, it's frustrating. And there's a lot of things that need to be tabbed together. And there's these bars that have multiple hinges in there. And there's ball joints at the shoulders. So there's just a lot of room for error. So once you get it all cleaned up to the best you can, um, put the finishing touches on it, which is moving this piece down here and this piece down there. And then bring this little like, crotch piece up. And that theoretically plugs in there. And uh, and then take this piece I'd already done to take that piece and flip that up. That holds the guns. The transformation is a pain. It's a pain because of the thing as I just talked about. He does roll like a champ though and those rubber tires feel outstanding. But it's a pain because of those multiple hinged uh, main pieces that are moving all around and everything has to be lined up. There's a ton, there's tons of tabs which help, but there's just a, it's, this is a, this is a, a labor of love to get this thing to this point. And so you flip these down and you can have it in battle mode. Um, now I gotta say, just to be fair, this car feels awesome. Like, it feels like a brick, it's heavy, it's solid. Like, it it wasn't fun to get here, but it does work. Um, the guns, unfortunately, don't really articulate properly because of the way that the hinge operates. So you really only get them up a little bit, and that's because you're taking them out of the the uh, what you call I like the um, I like the design of the fans project one better as far as these were concerned as I was just sitting here messing with them I realized I didn't have these two things tabbed in properly but they're good now but it's just there's so much that needs to be tabbed into this thing it's it's easy for it to go um, overlooked so our last stage in this whole, whole thing is there's nice break up here look at those small painted orange triangles 
Which is an odd choice. There's one at the steering wheel as well. I don't know if you can see in there. Let's see if I can't get you. You see it? It's just an odd choice of where they decided to put paint on this fella. I'm not sure I get it, but we need to get his headmaster transformed. So, very similar to the, the fans project ones. These tab in here. And then you can bring these out a little bit. Bring the arms out. This piece here comes up and over the eyes. And then that whole thing comes down there. And he is cool. Like, uh, he's a pretty cool looking little, little bot. Um, I quite like him. I wish something tabbed in here to kind of keep his, uh, pelvis locked in. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong, but, um, I don't know. Arms are on ball joints. Uh, ball pegs, actually, with the ball in the shoulder, so you get there, and then you get the swivel out of it, which is fine. Hinged, uh, elbow, which is a nice touch. It would have been nice if you could have, if the... If it was the opposite, if the peg came out to the ball joint, that you could turn his arms this way, because his his articulation is fairly limited as a result. And then the the legs are the hips are on ball joints. Um, I've got to be doing something wrong here, but I don't see how. Uh, hips are on ball joints, uh, limited range of motion out, just like him, but up and down is no problem. And then a hinge at the knee getting you away past 90 degrees due to transformation. Head's uh, fairly clean. Nice paint application there, it's pretty cool. Um, and then of course you can have him sit in there, in theory, just pegging together. And then of course you can have him sitting there, keep his legs together and angle him. And you know, and you can finagle him to get a, a better fit. I've had him in, there it is. There it is, no problem. And then it is a, uh, a two seater, so His uh, fans project buddy can can ride with him. This is a tight fit here on this, uh, but yep. Yeah, and then now they're in service, and there he is with an MP car for a point of reference. So, I mean, he's huge. He's he's definitely he has a presence. Now to discuss the elephant in the room, right? There he is next to MP Rodimus. And he's a bit taller. Now, this bothers a lot of people. It doesn't bother me. Mainly because, to me, Chrome Dome is like a prime in his own right. I know he's not. But he was like a leader, you know, in, in the Headmaster series. So I kind of consider him to be on that level. And I'm okay with his height being there. Now, it may very well bother you. And if it bothers you and you can't handle it, then by all means you shouldn't get into it. But I like it. I like it personally. There are episodes I've seen of the Headmaster series where Chrome Dome is at least the same size as Rodimus. People argue about the Sunbow chart. People argue about what's the proper scale. Dinobot's too big. Dinobot's too small. MP10 too big. Cars too small. You know, I raised that discussion just recently. It is an, a huge argument, and it's hard to find the answer. But um, I got good news for you guys. I found the answer. I've solved the riddle. All right, let's get on Skype and see if anybody in the community is on and has any questions. And password login. Is this Grandpa the same size as Grandpa? Hey, isn't it Kinsetson the same size as Ultra Magnus, though? I don't know about that. Ultra Magnus is way bigger than a constructed con. You mean the same wave blast is way bigger than a car? Well, power glide the same size as smoke screen and warp cap. But can he also ride a carousel? Iron, I know for sure that Iron Heart is twice the size of Ratchet. The Warpath is definitely the same size as Swerve. Yeah, and aren't there eight Constructicons? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Everybody stop for a second. You're asking if Scrapper is the same size as Grapple, if a Quintesson is the same size as Ultra Magnus, but if Ultra Magnus is bigger than a Constructicon, the way that Blaster is way bigger than a car, and if Power Glide is the same size as Blue Streak and Warpath, 
with Power Glide also being able to ride a carousel and Warpath being the same size as Swerve, and if Ironhide's the, twice the size of Ratchet, and if there are eight Constructicons. Right? Okay. The answer is sometimes. <laughs> On my Facebook page, uh, Skullface Reviews, if you look that up on Facebook, um, like the proper page that you have to like, if it's a well sought after character, I'll often ask who you guys want to see size comparisons with or what have you. Shout out to Phil Ross. He asked to see uh, Ultra Magnus and Rodimus, so there's that for you, Mac. Shout out to Joe H. I love you, dude. Uh, he asked for other headmasters from various lines and scales. There's Toy Worlds, PEs, Fort Max, Hasbro's brainstorm so he obviously does not work with any other line but masterpiece shout out to john jason and tran trying to accommodate you guys there's a warbatron technobot a masterpiece car generations rc and classic seeker shout out to will there he is with your neutral on the litmus test there he is next to fans projects chrome dome lastly i had to do this there he is with like other autobot leaders and that's pretty cool final thoughts three major issues okay one is the ratcheting joints in the thigh swivel uh, they don't really serve a purpose it was a poor choice to put a ratchet especially when you put ball joints at the shoulders and at the ankles which is the next one we're getting to uh, it creates this gap it's unsightly and it's not necessary problem number two the use of ball joints this is the exact same technology and engineering that they use for a lot of their combiners if you're going to step up your scale, you got to step up your engineering. This ball joint here isn't a big deal, but this ball joint down here at the feet, you know, if it gets too much, he tips right over because the whole ankle is on a ball joint. So the whole weight of this figure, everything is, it's force is all going, like it's load bearing joint is a ball joint. Issue number three, articulation in the hips because of the tires. You can't get very dynamic poses. I have a picture at the end that you'll see, which is kind of the best I could do. Pretty much this guy's going to be looking stoic. Well, I guess there's one more big issue, and that is in typical Make Toys fashion, they engineered the hell out of this thing and engineered the fun right out of it along with it. It's not fun to transform. There are so many different ball joints involved. There are so many different tabs involved. There are so many different swinging panels involved. That it's just not fun. It's extremely complicated in the sense of moving things around and reorganizing things and manipulating things. So if you love that, like I know there's a lot of guys out there that, that you know they live for that, you're gonna enjoy this. For the guys that just want like a straightforward, fun, enjoyable, intuitive transformation, I don't think that this is necessarily it. It's a lot easier to go from car to bot than it is to go from bot to car. It's just a matter of getting everything lined up right, and there's a lot of variables involved. There's other minor gripes, like I would have liked more paint especially in the head and maybe thighs show i mean everywhere it would have been much better with more paint but there's some g1ers that'll get upset um if it doesn't look like it's stepped right out of the cartoon and i would have really liked it if the guns were able to articulate up on the vehicle like the uh, fans project one did there are a lot of positive things going on here though too i personally like the size and i like the bulk and i like how solid it feels in both modes with the exception of those ball jointed ankles. I like his presence. He has a presence in both modes and that's gonna shine on your shelf. I like that with this masterpiece take, they have gone to a slightly different style of plastic. It's slightly more refined, it's more smooth. It's not like their swerve, which I'm holding right now in my hand. You can hear his tires. I love this thing, but it's it, the, a lot of these old Make Toy stuff or you know their other Make Toy stuff has that like I don't know, smooth but rough feeling. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you have Make Toy stuff, you might understand what I'm saying. This, this not so much. This is a newer, you know, sleeker, more refined plastic, and I like, I like that approach to it. I like their use of die cast in it. I like the overall sculpt and aesthetic a lot. I just think that this maybe, once again, was a bit too ambitious for a first masterpiece, quote unquote, take. Um, but I'm happy with it. If you can look past the scale issues, if you can look past the lack of articulation, and if you can get them in a pose that you're okay with where the ankles don't bite you in the ass, I think you're going to like this too. But if those things bother you, there's not really enough good about this to push you over the edge. Like I said, I dig the size, and I kind of dig his presence and his silhouette, so I'm happy with my purchase. But I can't necessarily say that you'll be the same. This is a hard one to really lock down because... There's a lot of good things, but there's some extremely frustrating things. 
time to 86 the ball joints. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.